Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. On my continuing OpenShot tutorial series today, I'm going to be showing you how to do a very basic freeze frame effect within OpenShot. Now, if you have not seen my OpenShot tutorial series, be sure to check that out in the description area below. And so one effect that I see a lot of people who do uh, video editing use is this whole freeze frame effect. So basically, it'll freeze a frame and then it'll continue to frame again later on or they'll add other different effects. Okay, so let me show you what I mean. So say, for example, I'm playing this video. I want it to freeze right there. Okay. So OpenShot does already include some freeze frame effects built in. So all you would do is right click on your mouse and where it says time, there it is, freeze. Now there are some pre-built number of time on here. Okay, so let's just say I want to freeze it for two seconds. What it's going to do is it's going to create this keyframe right here, which will actually create this two second interval. Okay, so let me show you. So now when I press play, bam, it freezes it right there. And then it continues. And that's pretty cool, you know, and you could also adjust the different times as I just showed you a little earlier. You could go back to your time. You could reset the time to it take off the freeze frame and you can do the freeze frame again. Or you could also add other things such as a freeze and zoom, which doesn't really work that well. Let me show you what I mean. So let's go ahead and go here. Time, freeze and zoom. Let's just say, let's make this four seconds. Okay. So let's try that again freeze and then right here it's going to start zooming in and it's really subtle you see there and then it zooms back out and then it continues again okay so those are some that are already pre-built but a lot of people what they like to do is maybe freeze this for a longer period or maybe add some different special effects okay so this is actually the way that i know how to do it and so there might be better ways to do this uh, other than what i'm showing you here but this is how i know how to do it so say for example you've frozen it right here, right? And now you want to do a special effect on this freeze frame, okay? Or maybe have the same frame again, but then have a special effect before you can continue, okay? So what you can do is you still want it to start again right here. So what you can do is you can go and just go ahead and cut this right here or splice it, okay? Right here where the video starts or actually it ends at this point. Get that right there, okay? And so it'll start over again once it gets to that point. So let's move it over here for now. So what you want to do is you want this part where it freezes, okay? You want the same freeze frame to be repeated so then maybe you could do some other special effects, okay? So the easy way to do that is you just highlight it, right click on your mouse, copy, copy the clip, and then you could paste the clip and then bring it up here and you're going to have to trim it just a little bit Okay, so you might have to play around with this, okay? So I'm going to delete this part. And now bring this part. And so let's go ahead and play this. So when you play it, it freezes it. Still the frozen clip. Okay, and then there, okay? Now, it's not exactly a perfect thing, okay? Because I've actually spliced it a little bit later. Uh, or in the middle of the clip. So if I would have spliced it right at the beginning again, or maybe at the end, it would have looked like in the same frame, okay? But you kind of see what I'm saying. You're going to have to play around with it, you know? Now, I thought that if you extend it, right, it would actually extend the frozen clip longer. But actually, the way it works in open shot is it actually still has your entire video. So you could actually, you know, uh, have the whole video playing right after this, okay? Now, you can play around with the properties as well, but I'm trying to make this as simple as possible. So let me delete this again. Okay, so let's just say within this clip, okay, this second frozen frame uh, frame clip, you wanted to add a different effect, okay? So I could go here, go to effects, and let's just say I want a negative here, okay? It might look really weird, but I just want to show you how this could work. And you could get really uh, playful with this as well. I mean, you could get creative with it, okay? So let me see if I could change this right there. So I'm going to change it to where at least it looks different. Let me see if it changes it. Okay, so there it is. So it changed it, the saturation down to black and white. Okay, so if I played it again, freezes, freezes again. I had a different clip on there. And then 
there it continues okay so I know that's super basic but you could see here where you can actually get creative um, uh, and even though the freeze frame it does work well it's not quite as advanced as other tools you know like Premiere Pro or Caden Live where you could actually export the snapshot uh, you could add more effects that are available here you know but you know as you can see it's, it's pretty cool you know you could also add different transitions as well you know you could even add like let's just say we'll do a wipe diagonal here you know nothing really fancy but say you wanted it to after the freeze frame you wanted it to transition see you could do that as well okay so you could easily see how this freeze frame can be used to do some pretty uh, dramatic effects see and there it is and also enhance your videos okay to get that cool uh, freeze frame effect and I don't know why that's not showing anymore <laughs> I must have done something wrong here but you get the point okay and so that is it for this very quick video on how to do a basic freeze frame it's really cool that OpenShot did add this right in the tool itself where you could just do the freeze frame and a free zoom but you know if you play around with keyframes and stuff you could also adjust the timing but I really feel it's a lot easier just to copy and paste this whole exact freeze frame and just just duplicate it okay and then you can add or you know whatever effects that you want okay and so that's it for this particular tutorial if you had any thoughts on freeze framing or you had any of your own ideas on how to do freeze frame within OpenShot be sure to leave that in the comments area below and as always if you did get value out of these videos be sure to subscribe and if you wanted to support my channel further you could do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.